Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. Doctors at OHSU say one in 26 people are diagnosed with epilepsy. And the symptoms and seizures that come with it can make everyday life challenging. In this week's Healthier Together, China Green introduces us to a one Portland man who, with the help of an implantable device, was able to pursue his dreams. In 2006, Bill Pipple had his first seizure. Woke up one morning in the hospital without a whole lot of memory of how I had gotten there. Then there were more. I had no control over when I might have a seizure. About three a month. Every seizure day is really three days at minimum in order to try and recover from that, either because I've thrown my body around and hurt myself in that regard or just trying to get cognition back. He was diagnosed with epilepsy, a brain condition that causes reoccurring seizures. And there are many different types of epilepsy. And for Bill, medication was not the answer. Over the course of six, seven years of treatment there, I got ran through double-digit numbers of anti-epileptic drugs with very minimal success on them. During that time, he did his best. I was more or less housebound. To live a normal life. Even with several seizures a month, he pursued his dream of becoming a lawyer. I had a whole lot of support uh, from Katie here, my now wife, in able to get me to law school classes. So that at least got me out of the house and continuing to move forward with my education and life goals. In 2016, Bill's doctor at OHSU told him about an implantable brain device designed to eliminate seizures before they start. And then the little computer is able to record electrical activity and tell us if he's having seizures or not and which side they're coming from. Dr. Leah Ernst says in Bill's case, the device did even more, collecting data about what was going wrong. These devices are thought of as a help rather than a cure. Um, but the specific device, because it gives you all this information about what's happening in the brain, it was able to lead to a cure. And then a year later, doctors were able to use that information to then remove the part of Bill's brain that was contributing to his seizures. And after going through the second surgery, he essentially became seizure free. There's no other term for it aside from life changing. Gone from being housebound to now I'm able to be a practicing personal injury attorney. And while his diagnosis took him on a detour in pursuing his career, his journey landed him where he was meant to be. For KGW News, I'm China Green. Dr. Ernst says there are a lot of different kinds of surgical options for people with epilepsy. And once they get referred to a center like OHSU, the patient is evaluated to find the right one. For more resources and more health stories, just visit KGW.com Healthier Together.